So wonder what next after you might have learned so lazy, after you might have gone through the developer's roadmap that we have in order for you to become an advanced smart contract engineer. This is where assembly language comes in and we say, but don't get me wrong, you can be a successful Solidity developer without having a clear understanding of what an assembly language is. And just the way I've been searching for how to fix this Ruby cube for some seconds, you are currently watching this tutorial also probably because you might have searched for it, which means you have been looking for resources in order for you to understand an assembly language better. And you will agree with me that most of the available resources out there are written documents and they are a bit complex to me and most of the video tutorials that we have never discuss an assembly language in details. Trust me, after this tutorial you are going to become a better Solidity developer, having much more understanding in Solidity and in assembly language because during this tutorial we are going to be going through all the available EVM obstacles that we have. You are sure? Yeah, we are going to be writing a smart contract that implements virtually all the available EVM obstacles. But don't get me wrong, programming in assembly can be so dangerous so if you are just starting, I would advise you to go and learn some Solidity first because we are going to be going through the risks and dangerous side effect of writing our smart contract in you. So this tutorial is for people aiming to be an expert in the field. Also, I will assume that you are already a competent programmer, so I won't be explaining things I believe that you already know. I will say, don't go up and start using it in production contract right away, but nevertheless, never allow the fear of the language to stop you from learning it, because that's why I'm here for you.